Hi everyone, I'm back. Let's say hi, Keisha. So today I wanted to talk about the day I found out I was BRCA2 positive. Um, I remember that I had gotten tested when I lived in Michigan, um, and I had had my third baby, and I had this <laughs> odd feeling that, and you know that that I had the gene, so I talked to my OB, and I was set up with a genetic counselor's appointment, and I went, I did the test, I spoke to the counselor, um, and then I moved on with my life. I actually ended up moving to New York. Um, we had our fourth baby, this little guy right here, and I actually didn't think about it. They did try to call me um, a couple of times, but being that I was so busy, I just honestly didn't want to know if that makes sense I was okay with how life was and I was happy and I didn't want to I didn't want to know we moved um, we moved to New York and um, a few months after I started to just have this funny feeling and I called my husband and I said I think you need to call the Western Michigan Cancer Center and ask them I you know ask them what my gene results were at this point he agreed and he called and he said, I'm sure everything's fine, but okay, I'll call. Um, that evening it was about 5.30 and he conference called me with the genetic counselor on the phone. And she explained to me that I was BRCA2 positive and she understood how difficult this was and that I should probably come in to discuss further. And she explained my options to me. She explained that, um, you get extra checks and you can go every six months for a mammogram and then an ultrasound. Um, she explained that I could get my ovaries removed at 40 and she gave me a list of places that I could put my name on for pancreatic testing in the future. My initial thought was, first of all, I was right. I had this feeling and it was right. My second thought was, Okay, I could do a double mastectomy because we all know Angelina Jolie didn't and she looks fine now and so okay I could do that my next thought was why do I have to wait till I'm 40 to get my ovaries removed can't I get them done sooner I'm done having kids I have four of them I you know those were my thoughts she also explained that there was a 50% chance I had passed this gene on to my children I think out of all the things she said, that was the hardest part to swallow or the part, hardest part to like actually process. How did I give something to my children? And it, you know, that, that for me was just really hit me to heart. I remember getting off the phone and crying and I think I just cried for a couple hours and then I just thought, okay, I'm gonna make doctor's appointments and we're gonna fly to Michigan and I'm gonna meet with the genetic counselor and um, all those things have happened and the past few months have been a roller coaster not just for me but for my husband for my kids um, I have been to so many doctor's appointments in the past few months probably more than I have in my whole life and I have four kids I mean I've gone to countless doctor's appointments but probably more than I have in my whole life I've been through so many I've gone from my first mammogram to blood work to ultrasounds to plastic surgery appointments um, and it just seems to never end and this week I'll be going to see a genetic counselor at Memorial Sloan Kettering um, I must say now that I'm making some bigger decisions I will be going through a double mastectomy in the fall I will go through reconstruction after after now that I'm making some bigger decisions I seem to feel more in control I seem to feel like everything is gonna get better and I just remind myself that I'm allowed to process. I'm allowed to go through whatever it is that I need to to be okay. I remind myself to process and to heal and that it's, it's okay to be sad and it's okay to be worried and it's okay to worry that you might be planning all these things to do it and you're still gonna get it at the end. Um, I'm a wife, a mother, a daughter, a sister, but I need to be okay first. I'm allowed to cry, I'm allowed to be sad, I'm allowed to go through the natural emotions that 
all this is all this takes on you and I'm more moody I'm probably a little bit more angry I'm just processing um, I remind myself that, that on the plane they always say to put the mask on yourself before you help others we can't be a good mom a good wife a good daughter and a good sister until you have the mask on on yourself so process allow yourself this time allow yourself